Hi there, today we're going to be taking a look at the new CAT S61 next to its predecessor, the, the CAT S60. Now the CAT S60 was released about two years ago, um, so there's been quite a few refinements in the in the design. So instantly we can see the S61 here on the right is slightly taller. If I pick these up we can take a better look. So the S61 is slightly taller. Um, and it does have a larger screen on it. So the, the screen is a 5.2 inch, whereas on the S60 it's 4.7. That needs to be turned on and it's got its plastic on it. Um, but yeah, so there, there's a larger, higher resolution screen on the S60. Um, when we come to the top of the phones, we'll see a difference here. So we've both got a selfie camera and sensors and a speaker. The S60 had this switch, this uh, five meter, two meter switch. So it was the only phone that was waterproof up to five meters, but you had to flick these switches to close off the speakers. The S61 has decided against that, um, that design. So the whole device is just waterproof to an overall three meters. So it doesn't go quite as deep as this one did, but with the S60, you did have to flick those switches. And if you left the switches on, then you, people couldn't hear you. Um, so an interesting design choice, but they've decided against it, probably out of simplicity. On the base, um, we've got physical buttons, but on the S61 here on the right, these are much larger um, and they extend further down. So the, these are easier to press. And in my opinion, they have a better click. The S60 buttons could sometimes feel a bit bit mushy. It's difficult to get that on video, but they're a bit soft to the touch, whereas the S61's click and they have a better a better click clicking sound to them. There was also a speaker mesh here on the S60, the original one. Um, this has been a, a cause of consternation for some owners where the speaker mesh over time has come off um, and that removes some of the waterproofing of, of the device. You can see into the speaker underneath. So um, it doesn't happen instantly. It doesn't happen with every device, but some batches of them, this comes away. So Cat have, I think sensibly, moved away from that design and on the S61 we just have a single speaker here on the base which is recessed and waterproofed. Um, so they moved away from that speaker mesh design. When we come to the sides of the phone we can see that they're pretty much the same thickness. There's you know a shade of a millimeter between the two and the S60 was incredibly robust and remains incredibly robust and that design has been taken straight into the S61. It's the same chassis materials. Um, so yeah, you can expect this to be able to take quite a few knocks. Almost everything was on the left-hand side on the S60. So we had a power, we had a push to talk button, had an SOS button, that's been taken away on the S61, and the USB and headphones under their port covers. Again, these two covers, SOS and USB, were a little bit flimsy on the S60. Um, uh, the USB, especially as one that you use quite regularly, um, with sometimes something that would that would come off uh, with heavy use um, or if you're a bit heavy handed opening and closing it and yanking at it. Um, Cat obviously did replace that, they've got a very robust warranty, um, but that has been rectified on the newer model where the USB is actually on the base of the phone here and the USB port has been waterproofed. It's USB-C now rather than micro USB. It's been waterproofed and this port is um, feels a lot more robust compared to the old one. The base of the S60, there, there is nothing. Um, on the top of the phones, there's nothing on the S60 apart from the flur bump. They've put the headphone on the top for the S61, again, with a much more secure and um, robust port cover. And there is the flur bump again. Interestingly, the S60, that bump was branded with Fleur, and on the S61 it's branded with Cat, um, with the Fleur branding still remaining on the back. The right of the phone, on the original S60, just the volume buttons. On the S61 we have the volume plus the power, and the volatile organic compound sensors uh, are under here. Uh, we've looked at the base of the phone. So yeah, the SOS button has gone. Um, it wasn't something that got a lot of use. Um, it was a button you'd flick open and you'd, and you'd press it and it had to be configured in a certain way and would only work with certain apps. Um, so that, that feature has been, has been taken off um, of the S61. Now onto the back of the phones. We've got the same setup with the thermal camera at the top and the standard visible camera on the base. Um, with the S61, these have both been upgraded. So that the thermal imaging on the S61 is now double the resolution of the S60. 
and the main camera is 16 megapixels, which is much higher than the original S60. Also, um, on the original S60, we had this flappy port cover, which you could put your memory card and SIM cards into. You could have two SIMs and a memory card in this. Um, but this port cover, again, something that people found, this latch is fairly strong, but dropped at the wrong angle. It could flip open, it could, um, once open, get water into it. It is waterproofed itself, but a design issue which has been changed in, in the newer model, um, something that was brought up by customers. Again, any issues with the S60, Cat did sort them all out under warranty. They were very good about any issues where maybe that opened or a port cover came off. Um, but with the S61, you'll find a more traditional tray, which is quite tight and waterproofed and uh, much more robust design than the, than the S60 had with that flappy back cover. Uh, on the back, both phones have a pretty nice textured finish, although the S61 is more rubber, whereas this is more of a kind of plasticky polycarbonate nylon style um, cover, which is is tactile and, and nice to finish and doesn't slip, but I think the rubber is probably the, the better option in terms of a phone that's going to be in wet environments or rugged environments. This won't scratch as much as this did as well. And then on the bottom we have the the laser output, which is a new feature, which obviously wasn't on the original Cat S60. So um, there we have it. There's there's quite a few differences. Um, physically, they look pretty similar, although this is a shade larger. Interestingly, the S61 is a bit lighter. So whether that's down to a slight change in in the um, materials used for the chassis, or maybe just lighter weight internals, less less stuff going on inside the phone. Um, I can't say for certain. It's got a bigger battery as well, so that's a lot of the weight of a phone is the battery. So, but they've managed to trim some of the weight off, trim some of the fat, and make a larger phone with a larger, higher definition screen, which is which is nice to see and improvements all the way round, really, in terms of the thermal camera, the visible camera, the processor has had an upgrade to a uh, Snapdragon 630. We've got a bigger battery. Um, overall, it has a lot more going for it. It's also Android 8.1, the S60 never went beyond Android 7. Um, but those are the two phones. Um, there is also a, a significant difference in price. Uh, the S61 is going to be £800 including VAT. There's a lot of new tech and a lot of research and development you're, playing, you're paying for with this phone. So um, it is it is a niche device targeted at a certain marketplace to use those features and are paying for those features. The S60 was fairly expensive when it launched because of the, the thermal camera, but the thermal camera was the only unique thing about it. So um, that jump in price wasn't so significant compared to a, a traditional smartphone, whereas the S61, um, the gap between this and another device of the same raw specification, base specification, is quite a bit larger than the S60 to a traditional phone because of these extra features and because of the improvements that have been made. So um, whereas the S60 was potentially a phone for um, anyone that wanted a very good rugged device, the S61 is potentially something that only those who really want all the features would be going for. Um, still probably the best rugged phone available to the consumer, although the S60 will continue to be available. So if you don't see yourself needing the laser or the organic compounds or the high resolution thermal, you can still buy an S60 and it will still be supported. Thanks for watching.